hello and uh, welcome to my talk for this week. As I know, I've mentioned before that the soccer team I support is called the Wolves. Recently they were playing Brentford, the Bees, in an English Premier League match. Proceedings were interrupted when someone flew a drone over the stadium. The referee took both teams off the field for more than 20 minutes until the intruder went away. That incident got me thinking about drones. Not the military ones, but the ordinary drones which can be bought in the store and are used to take pictures and videos. This week I was sent a document about some proposed renovations on one of our church buildings in the diocese. The high-level photographs were of good quality and very detailed. In the old days, either a big boom truck or scaffolding would have been needed to get such shots. Now it's done by drone. One of the things a drone can do is provide us with real-time pictures of what's going on over a large area. Back in the late 18th century, a man called Robert Baker developed a method of painting which he called the panorama. The aim was to show everything in an area at one time. Initially he painted flat street and landscapes, but eventually he tried to create what we would now describe as a totally immersive experience. In a round building in the middle of Leicester Square in London, he displayed a series of paintings of the city, which, when joined together around the walls, gave a 360-degree view. People paid to enter the building and stood on a platform in the middle where they could turn and study the panorama. There are many differences between Baker's panorama and the modern drone. One of them is that the paintings have everything remaining the same, whereas with video things in the scene change regularly, if not constantly. That being said, both mediums, the panorama and the drone, give us a sense of something bigger than the one thing we might focus on. I'm sure that some of us feel we would prefer the slower rate of change or perhaps even no change that is found in the panorama. But that's not the world we live in. Our world is more like that recorded by the drone with change happening very, very quickly. The important thing is to try to have a larger perspective as with both the panorama and the drone. If we become focused on what is near at hand, we're not able to see the bigger picture. And if we can't see it, then we cannot influence it. God sees the complete panorama of history from beginning to end. God has a unique perspective. If we take time as those who went to the panorama did, or those who view drone footage, we might be able to see things that we were unable to see as we look at the detail and try to place it in its bigger context. During these uncertain times, are we able to trust God's overarching perspective, even when we're unclear about how it all fits together and how it will all work out in the end? Once again, thank you for being here. I trust you're doing well. I hope you have a good week. God bless and stay safe.